my chart is kind of like a, all over the place, like just every thought I had, or not every thought I had, but um, some thoughts I had. Um, and then I kind of, like a couple of the questions in my chart related, so I was like, I'm going to talk about this. Um, and so I'm basically going to talk about like the conduct of youth in society and how it um, affects like the society overall and try to discover whether like the society dictates how the youth acts or whether like how the youth acts dictates the society like chicken egg type thing um and then also talk about like generation gaps and like how that um affects like the way history goes in society and my two works are 1984 and clockwork because in 1984 um it's like really rigid and strict and everything and they like train their kids to be like spies basically so that's like one part of the spectrum and then in clockwork the kids are basically just like willy-nilly like do whatever they want and they like run the society so um, like in both the kids are powerful but one of them is like positive and one of them is kind of like negative so I just thought that was interesting and we'll probably bring in some stuff like real life examples of like youth in society maybe like babies or something you said generation gaps, what do you mean by that? I mean like the way you think is different than like the way your parents think. So like kind of looking into that and like what if it's a natural thing, if there's if like that just is a change that happens over time, kind of like Alex describes at the end of the book, or if there are like specific events in society or like in the history of a people that makes one generation like really different from another like so like when you said like you mentioned the hippies like you would say like okay yeah back then they all did drugs or whatever but like yeah. now it's like you need drugs you go to jail yeah like kind of like that and like what events like uh, cause like the counterculture or stuff like that i don't know yeah I don't so you think like the youth are like a reaction to the, the generation before them or do you let the youth come up with their own, their own like together, like their own identity without um, a reaction to something else? Um, I mean, I guess that would be part of what I research. But like when I first hear that question, my first response is like I think that the youth are like kind of the same as the generation before, and they just like to think that they're different, but they're not really that different. But I don't really have to look into it. You say that the um, the radicalization of the youth in 1984 is more due to the government controlling and indoctrinating the youth, or due to them breaking down the family structure within the book. Um, that's really interesting because Whitney is actually talking about family structure and her thing. Um, so we talked about this this morning, but I think it would probably be yeah, I think it would actually probably be the breakdown of the family structure because that's like really important. Like how we talk about in government, like your family is where you learn everything first, where you like form all your opinions and like how you interact with other people. So I think not having that when you're like really first growing up, um, like really changes the generation. So you think of both the <laughs> waited like <laughs> I was trying to think of what I was gonna say. Um you think that in both or cause you said how in um nineteen eighty four you said that the youth were a positive. Is that what you were saying? I said they like perpetuated the structure in the society. Okay, but like overall overall like I guess like Either way, like they perpetuate the structure of society, but of course the structure of society is like dystopian. Yeah. So like you think youth are just overall just bad for both these authors and both these authors view? Um, I think it's just like whether or not you think the structure of the society is bad. Like if you think it's like for me in nineteen eighty four it's bad because it um like 
keeps everyone like competing against each other and like really scared all the time so like for me I feel like that's bad and then also I feel like in clockwork it's bad because it is like too much of the opposite um but I think that not necessarily all like youth movements or like everything the youth ever does is bad I think just like in these two examples it like they kind of just show like the flaws in the society like the flaws in the youth are like indicative of like what's wrong in the society which uh, I, I, don't well, know. I don't really have a question, but you should like look up the Hitler Youth because that's probably a lot of what that's 1984 was based off of. It's on uh, their parents and stuff. Um. Yeah. Have you um thought about how Ben Winston in 1984, his uh, when he was young, his mother you know was taken and it left him without kind of a family figure, and similarly. Um, Alex and the Clockwork Orange, his family were very, um, they, like, they kind of just let him do whatever, so it was almost as if he didn't have parents as well. Have you thought about the kind I of had, I mean, first? like, I kind of thought, I thought about it more with Alex than with Winston. I hadn't really thought about his Winston's childhood, like, well, but that's is really interesting. <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, at like the same time, afraid of him. well, at the same time, they also don't question into his life. Yeah. Yeah, like when he skips school. Or when he's out all night, they don't question, they, he's just like, oh, I'm not working, and they don't question it. And I think that kind of shows a lot about the structure, too, because the adults are afraid of the kids. And it's the same thing in 1984, like, the adults are afraid of the kids. Yeah. So that's kind of like, yeah. But I hadn't thought about Winston as well before. That's an interesting thing. Anything else? Should the adults be scared of the kids? Be scared of us? <laughs> no. Yeah. Should we scared? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should we scared of the camera? Probably if they give, like, if the government gives them that much power, then, like, I would be scared of my kids if they're going to report me.